Get the defending champions in the postseason going against the team that had played the best since January 1. Yep. And the Celtics defense has been outstanding. Hey, look, the Bucks, that's nothing to scoff at what they're doing. Ramona, I want to start with you. Who has the advantage in this? Maybe the probably the best second round yep. matchup in all the league. I mean, it's the Celtics because the Bucks don't have Chris Middleton. And this is where that really shows up because Boston's defense is going to put so much pressure on Milwaukee to score. And you, that's where a guy like Middleton is, would really help them. And, and I don't know, Brian, you, you'd probably be a little closer on this one than I am. But it, I don't think you can rush back from an MCL injury. This isn't something you can just gut through. This is something that can go So it's if he's able to give them anything in this series that would help. But to me, it's got to be the Celtics. And quite frankly, I would have picked the Bucks in this series if they were healthy. But I would it. I think it's got to be Boston anyway because of how well they've been playing throughout since January 1st, you said, and in the last round. Well, you saw what Marcus Smart yeah. said right there in that sound package. He said, we went after the, the, the Nets and yeah. the, the Celtics reward is they get home court in this series. You know, yep. the Bucks. I mean, they're champs, but and you know, you could say it was prudent, but they they dodged the Nets at the end. They they went against that beast last year, barely won in seven yep. games. They didn't want it again. The Celtics went for it. Now they get the reward of home court advantage. And as for Middleton, you know, it's a two to four week injury. Yeah. That's the timetable on it. I don't know how his knee will be in 10 or 15 days. I don't know if anybody does, but I'll tell you that from what I'm told, the Bucks are preparing yeah. that they are not going to have him in this series. That's why that price that we showed, that Vegas price, seems right to me with the Celtics favored. Pat Connaughton, Richard, Grayson Allen, Wes Matthews, these guys are going to have to do things that were higher yeah. than their expected roles. We saw Grayson have some of the best offensive games he's ever had in this last round. Does it continue? We'll have to see. You know, Boston's done a good job in the games they've played against Giannis. Last couple of games, he's averaged 25, 10, and 5. So that's under his season <laughs> averages. It's still good. Wait, wait. But they, the, now they can key on Shut him down. even more. But there was, Brian, did you see where Giannis went on TV and said, I don't watch them, I don't watch the other games because I'll be watching with my kids and it makes me too nervous and the tension's too high? Have you ever heard a player say, like, I don't watch my future yeah, opponents? Th yeah, there's some guys that, like, if you, you – because if you're if you're paying attention to your future opponent, yeah. you're not focused on what your job is right now. So I, I've seen guys that, that kind of take both routes, right? Well, they'll watch all the other games, yeah. but not who their potential, you know, opponent would be in the next round. I will say this. I think the Bucks, it, it, to your point, would be favored if they had Chris Middleton, but not by much, by just a mm -hmm. little bit. The biggest issue for me now is when you watch it, how great the Boston Celtic defense is, how they're able to not only pack the paint, but also get out to shooters. They're going to need the same type of performance from, from, from Grayson Allen. They're going to need the same type of performance from all of their shooters. That is the only way to open up things for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what's even crazier is you look at the way you got Robert Williams back. You got Al Horford that have played outstanding in that Brooklyn series. Yep. So if those two guys play just solid defense and they hold Giannis to 25, 10, and 5, then ultimately I think the Boston Celtics win. If they can shoot the ball well, if the, if the Milwaukee Bucks can shoot the ball extremely well, then that will open up the floor a little bit, allow for Giannis to get out. But that... I, I'm not saying I don't want to count on those guys, but that's a little bit of extra work for some guys that haven't been put in that role. But, Ramona, I want to ask you about Chris Middleton's mm -hmm. kind of nursing that injury. Can the Bucks really overcome not having their second best score and really multi-time all-star? So, so important to everything that they do. He really turned out to be their closer uh, late in games this past few years. I mean, they can overcome it because they're the defending champs. And when the Bucks are at their best, they're moving the ball and they're hitting shots. They're hitting. They're creating a lot of space for Giannis. I think they also need to get out in transition. Um, when you don't have one of your best half court scores, you need to get you need to pick up the pace. And so this is going to be, as you said, it's going to be on those Grayson Allen's and Pat Connaughton. Those guys need to hit shots because Giannis, when he drives in there, there's going to be a, a forest of trees in there. Tice is going to be in there. Robert Williams is going to be in there. I mean, the, the, there's not going to be a clear path for him. And it's uh, when you don't have shooting, the, it makes it even harder on him. Brian. Well, you know, Richard, you remember early in your career when you were a stud averaging 20 points, you didn't have to worry about the opponents. <laughs> right, Only late in your career in. when you were a role player. Ooh. That's when you had to, like, actually do film study. You, I wouldn't worry about my opponents either. Giannis is so good. Yeah. And that's the thing to me. If Giannis plays at the level that we know he can play, 
and look, I voted for Joel Embiid for MVP, but I could have easily voted for Giannis. Mm -hmm. we see, we've seen Giannis elevate his entire team. If he does that, and frankly, he's going to need to do it probably in a couple games in this series, Bucks can win it. And he absolutely can do it. When he, I've seen this from LeBron. Yeah. Many, many, many times LeBron's team went, and went, and went into series where his team didn't have home court advantage and wasn't favored, and he just elevated the entire unit. Giannis can do it. And so that is why this will be a great series to watch, and it doesn't matter whether the Celtics get up 1-0 or 2-0 or whether they have more reinforcements or whether Tatum is hitting shots. Giannis is the ultimate equalizer in the NBA right now. That could happen in this series, and we're going to watch it. And Giannis is the best player in the world. No player affects the game on the offensive end and the defensive end as much as Giannis Antetokounmpo. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.